Now in this part, part B, we're asked to show that the discriminant can be expressed in the form k plus a all squared plus b. And this is worth two marks. Now remember in the previous part we discovered that the discriminant, let's just write it down here, the discriminant turned out to be k squared plus 2k plus 9. And if we're to express this quadratic expression in this format, it's often referred to as completing the square. And if you're unsure of completing the square, just go on my website and look on the tutorials for completing the square. And it'll give you some idea how to do this. What we do, though, is we just set up a bracket like this with a squared on the outside, put k at the front here, and then we halve the coefficient of k. Normally these quadratic expressions have got x's in. This one though has got a k in, but it's the same principle obviously. We just halve the coefficient of this value, the number in front of it, which is a 2. So if we halve that, we got a 1. Now if you expand this, k plus 1 all squared, we'll see what we get. Let's just work out what k plus 1 multiplied by another k plus 1 gives us. k plus 1 squared, in other words. It's identical to k times k, which is k squared. Then we've got 1k plus another 1k, so plus 2k. And then 1 times 1, well that's 1. So writing that this is the same as k plus 1 squared is not quite true because you can see we get the k squared plus 2k but we collect a 1 on root. So we don't want that 1 so we can subtract the 1 so this now just comes to k squared plus 2k but we want the 9 so we just put it back in. So you can see that this is the same as k plus 1 or squared and then minus 1 plus 9 is plus 8. And if we have got to give the values of a and b, then what I would suggest we do is we say that this is identical to k plus a all squared plus b, where a, you can see, is clearly the 1, and b, well that matches up with the plus 8, or just simply 8. Okay, so that's how I would set that out.